Hi, I'm Jim Masters. Welcome to our show. Joined by my co-host today, Janine Lauber. Janine, good to see you. Nice to be back to meet you and talk with you again. And we're talking about bartering. Barter. We yeah. love barter, don't we? Absolutely. I was telling you uh, while we were in the commercial break there that um, one of my good friends uh, started his company, Bartering. And um, as, as huge of an idea as that sounds, um, it's really something that I think a lot of people can relate to because so much of us, uh, so many of us rather, have bartered in a small way for so many years and didn't really realize that that's what we were doing. But if you take that really cool idea expand on it that's what we're talking about phenomenal way to save money too you can actually barter trade services and goods for other goods and services you may need as well work at a radio station in Connecticut where we do that for advertising sure people maybe who don't want to spend the money on the advertising actually can get advertising by giving us goods and services that we sell on the air the economy is really impacting businesses and so many people at large and bartering is becoming more and more popular because of the economy, right, Janine? And it, absolutely, and um, I think if there ever was a time for people to really seriously um, think about using bartering more often yeah, would, be, be, would be right now because, um, you know, I listen to all the analysts talk. They talk about cash being king, and if there was a time when people really should be holding on to their cash, maybe now is the time to do that. And when you barter, you're not exchanging cash at all. So this is a great way for people to hold on to their cash and yet get the services and the goods that they want and that they need. And save money. That's what everybody is looking to do. They're looking to get those items that they need, and they can barter or trade the service. And one thing people should do is take a moment to think about the services that they provide that they can barter. Maybe they're a roofer or a carpenter or a gardener. Maybe they have a deli and they can trade off some uh, catering trays for something else they need, like the painting of the walls inside the deli. Absolutely. Barter it, barter it. These great. are all great ideas. I think if people took like a notepad and wrote down all of the things that they can do, yeah. who knows? They could come up with a list of maybe 15, 20, 100 different things that they never imagined that they could use as a way to barter for other goods and services that they want. I'm just going to toss this out to you. Sure. Do you have a hobby? Do you have an interest? Do you have an expertise that you've never made money for That's before right. That's right. that you think maybe someone else could take advantage of? That's exactly right. That's exactly You know, hotels do it too all the time. You can barter rooms for other types of services. It's just really an amazing thing. And I don't think enough people really know about the value of barter. And that's why I think a great show like this is telling the story of barter and how people can participate. And it's so easy to do. It is. And uh, there are um, there are small networks of people That's who like right. to barter, right. there are medium-sized networks, and there are big networks. And um, I guess it's really your comfort level or whatever your comfort zone is, how you kind of segue into the, the world of bartering. But it is an exciting place to be. And as we said before, the economy is probably a great way for a lot of people to, um, or rather the economy is an impetus for people to think That's about right. entering the world of bartering. Because if there was a time to hold on to your cash, now it's now. Time. It sure is. Well, there's so much more we can talk about in our next segment. We will do that. Stick around. There's much more coming up. I'm Jim Masters.